from the side sales and place. I speak for the girl who cannot read of the opportunity to learn that's kept away even from the one who yearns so much. I speak for the women of Afghanistan, oppressed beyond oppression, all their talents, their freedoms, their lives, crushed beneath the blanket of suppression. I speak for the Syrians still dying in homes, of the guns that they still face, the bravery they bear in the midst of despair, and the hope that they hold so intense to this day and I pray for their liberation. I speak for the orphan whose tears still flow, for his family who one day was ripped apart by the planes that flew all over the land, dropping bombs of death, and the war still lives in his heart. I speak for the girls who suffer so much, forced into selling their bodies away, with no other way to sustain their life but accepting it with dismay. I speak for the child who labors all day, robbed of his rights, with no strength left to fight, whose very dreams have lost the spark and lost the hope of a day, one day when he can finally cope. I speak for the people of Africa who are dying for lack of food, living in absolute poverty, their lives so crude, while here in the West where we have so much, wasting away with no sense of its value, such corruption. I speak for the people of North Korea trying to resist the cruelest of leaders. And when I think of all the injustice and the persecution, the killings, the slavery, and even prostitution, it's more urgent than ever to have a solution. So as I speak for the people all over the world, as I speak for the voices that fail to be heard, of the lives so innocent and yet so oppressed, I think of our lives where we care about our own problems but forget about the rest. But wait a minute, aren't we all the same? All the sons and daughters of Adam, the first man. We're all part of a huge global family. So why don't we help each other? I know that we can. I mean, sure, after all, we don't all look alike. Some taller, some shorter, some darker, some light. But let's look beyond the color of our, each other's faces at the hope that lies within all the races. The colors of humanity are not just black and white. They're filled with all shades of happiness and light. So if we work together with all cultures and races, then we can make wonders in all sorts of places. Wouldn't it be nice if the world wasn't bad, if there was no violence or war? Imagine a utopia, a world so peaceful where, where violence exists no more. Despite our beliefs, our races, our faith, it is our diversity that makes us so great. We'll go on together and help our global family and we'll change the world just like that. Wait and see. We'll, go, we'll all go as one and fulfill our obligations to our brothers and sisters in all sorts of situations. And like the sun that peeks out from behind storm clouds so black, slowly the dreams will come back. And therefore I say that we have a huge duty to help our brothers and sisters around the world. And in the campaign for global unity, let the banner be unfurled. See, it doesn't really matter who you are. If you have the willpower, then you will go far. Whether you're a Buddhist or a Christian or Muslim or Jew or Hindu or atheist or whatever it is that you choose, we're all still connected. We're all still the same. And so I beseech you to help make a change. Woo!